Okay, so welcome to the Remove Your Veils of Illusion with Dragons and Sound workshop. I'm Francisca Siragusa, author, Ascension leader, and principal teacher with the Dana Cooper School of White Light. So I'm conducting this workshop today with Julie, my dear friend from Canada. Hello, Julie. Hello, hello, my dear Francisca. What Can you hear me? With me. <laughs> So blessed. Thank you for having me part of you. <sighs> yes. So Julie, Julie, you have recently graduated as a dragon teacher. So you yes. are now a dragon yes. teacher with this with the Diana Cooper School of White Light. And you're thanks to you. A light worker and expert in many spiritual modalities. And you run a school for new world entrepreneurs which is a very exciting project. So would you like to do an opening for us? Would you ground us, tune us, and Absolutely. us so we are ready for the work we're going to do? Absolutely, it would be my pleasure. And how about the sound? Is that okay? Yes, I think it's okay now. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. So we're ready, I'm ready to go. So we... I'm ready. We're going to actually, I'm going to invite you all and so blessed to be with you all today. I'm going to invite you to sit comfortably wherever you are in the world and just connect with your breath. So take a moment to connect with your breath, source of life, inhaling and exhaling through the nose as it gives or provides a wonderful vacation for our nervous system. Now I'm going to invite you to imagine, visualize golden silvery roots, powerfully reaching the core of Lady Gaia. Therefore, connecting you to the energy of our planet. And creating a telluric loop with this energy. Imagine this suiting energy traveling back to you and entering your Earth Star Chakra. This energy is rising and nourishing all your precious energy centers. So keep visualizing that beautiful loop of energy. Next, I'm going to invite you to visualize a shimmering ribbon of light traveling from your crown chakra to your monad and then from your monad to source. With this connection, allow yourself to receive this infinite love Hmm. through your divine channel, through the divine channel that you are. Imagine again this loop of energy. This cosmic loop of light nurturing all of the tiny and extraordinary cells of your physical vehicle. as you're both connected with earth and the sky, it's now time to call upon mighty archangel Michael and his deep blue dragons. Hmm. Let's call them to protect us all for this beautiful sonic session.
as well. That's called the Majestic Fifth Dimensional Emerald Dragons of Archangel Raphael. Hmm. Let's ask them to help us keep the 96 chambers of our third eye and its sacred codes and keys safe at all times. And finally, please invoke Archangel Buti Alil to support us as we're stepping up and expanding our horizons. To generate the flourishing of the new golden age. And for sure, let's invoke the glorious Archangel Raphael to help us with veils clearing. And to help us link our third eye chakra to Jupiter and Jumbe. So we can view everything, including ourselves, from an enlightened perspective. Last, however, not least, let's invite our beloved air and water dragons so they can wash and blow dry our crystal ball, transmuting all limitations, dissolving all illusions, and opening us to cosmic abundance. And infinite gratitude to all our cosmic teams. There's a lot of people here today. And we're ready to start. Thank you, Julie. That was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so before Julie and I will take you on this amazing journey, which we're going to do, I'm just going to explain what the veils of illusion are. So before incarnating on the earth plane, you have signed soul contracts and you have committed to undertake specific tasks and live certain experiences. These are the experiences that you need for your spiritual growth. However, unfortunately, we have to go through the veil of amnesia or drink from the river of forgetfulness. And this uh, veil of amnesia consists of seven layers and they are the seven veils of illusion. So you cannot remember who you truly are, where you come from, you know, your planet of origin or your special gifts, talents and abilities. You cannot remember your soul wisdom and you don't know what you have agreed to do. So to begin with, you don't know, you, you haven't got a clue, you don't know what your mission is until you gradually wake up, you evolve, you, you, you know, you start, you embark on a spiritual path, and then you start to remember. The seven veils of illusion, they are in front of your third eye, and the sevens is the furthest away. So the sevens is about 50 centimeters before your third eye, and the first is the closest. So when you remove the veils, you can see with clarity, you remember your soul journey and wisdom, and you can rediscover your gifts. So to remove the veils, your heart needs to be open. And for each veil, you have to pass specific tests, initiations. The veils, they can get thinner or they are partially removed. And once they're all removed, that's, that, that's enlightenment. So removing all the veils leads you to enlightenment. Enlightenment is a state where your consciousness expands and um, you know, you, you're a master of all aspects of your life. So when you're enlightened, you live in the present time, the past no longer 
has an effect on you and the and you're not worried about the future you're just living day by day and um, so during the meditation you will find out what each veil represents and so we're going to work with the mighty beings which truly has already called in so the the archangel Butyalil. i'm just going to show you some images from diana's card deck so that's Archangel Butyalil. He comes with a shimmering white light. He's the angel of cosmic currents and he oversees stars and planets and the cosmic blueprint. And he is also in charge of removing every single veil on earth. And that's for humans and animals. And then we're gonna work with the Archangel Raphael. So he comes with an emerald energy and he is in charge to activate the fifth dimensional third eye for all of humanity. And then the air and water dragon. So they have a blue and green energy and the energy is flowing like water and it's light like air. So that's all I wanted to say. So let's get ready to go on this amazing journey that we have prepared for you. So let's close your eyes and take a deep breath to relax. Take another deep breath into your heart. Slowly. Inhale and exhale. Just allow your body, your cells to relax. Now you're aware of your roots grounding you deep into the earth. And you're aware of Archangel Michael's deep blue cloak of protection around you. So I'm going to ask Archangel Butyalil and Archangel Raphael to overlight the work that we are going to do. So sense the energy unfolding you. Archangel Butyalil's white light is joining you in your space. And so is Archangel Raphael's emerald light, the angel of healing and abundance. So they're both with you now. And now let's, let's invoke an air and water dragon to join you in your space. Feel its presence and get a sense of its size. Its blue and green energy surrounds you. It is light and flowing like water and air and lifts your mood. Feel the qualities of joy, lightness, happiness and hope gently flowing into your energy fields. Now give the air and water dragon permission to clear out your third eye. Visualize your third eye like a crystal ball and feel the dragon blowing into it.
see it becoming crystal clear and you feel it expand and sparkle. When the dragon has finished, Archangel Raphael himself points two fingers and adds his energy to the third eye. Now focus on the seventh veil of illusion, which is red in color and the furthest away from your third eye, located about 50 centimeters in front of it. Ask the water and air dragon to remove the seventh veil and sense him starting his work. He may blow air and clear with water. Just allow him to do this work. And with this veil removed, you take total responsibility for yourself. And you see your life from a higher perspective. Affirm, I am on a unique soul journey. and everything is love and light. I am on a unique soul journey <clears throat> and everything is love and light. I am on a unique soul journey and everything is love and light. Focus now on the sixth veil of illusion, which is yellow in color. Ask the water and air dragons to remove it and sense him starting his work. With this veil removed, you appreciate that there is more to this world than merely the physical and acknowledge that there are other dimensions interwoven within our own and other beings you connect with. Now affirm, I believe and trust in the spiritual world. And I use my third eye for healing and transmuting higher, transmitting higher thoughts. And again, I believe and trust in the spiritual world and I use my third eye for healing and transmitting higher thoughts.
And finally, I believe and trust in the spiritual world. And I use my third eye for healing and transmitting higher thoughts. Focus on the fifth veil of illusion, which is pink in color. Ask the water and air dragon to remove it and sense him doing so. This veil is associated with unconditional love. To remove it, you must completely detach from your ego. Have only unconditional love for everything in your heart. And totally Forgive everyone who has ever hurt or harmed you. With this veil removed, you view the world with the eyes of divine love and you bless everyone, no matter what they have done. Affirm after me, I love unconditionally. I love unconditionally. I love unconditionally. Focus on the fourth veil of illusion, which is green in color. Ask the water and air dragon to remove it and sense him doing it. The removal of this veil involves honoring and respecting animals. Knowing animals are here to learn, experience and grow just like us. They have their own soul mission and ascension journey. 
You also have to love and appreciate nature and the elemental beings. When you work with them on a psychic or physical level, duality and separation is dissolved and replaced with oneness. And you help the planet ascend. When you lift this veil, you create and manifest with your thoughts for the highest good. So now affirm, I honor and work with the, dra- the kingdom of the animals, elementals and nature and I manifest for the highest good. I honor and work with the kingdom of the animals, elementals and nature, and I manifest for the highest good. I honor and work with the kingdom of the animals, elementals, and nature, and I manifest for the highest good. Focus on the third veil of illusion, which is light blue in color. Ask the water and air dragon to remove it and sense him doing it. This veil dissolves when you cooperate with the angelic realms and masters for the planet's highest good. You use your power to create everything to its highest level and you live in oneness. Affirm after me, I act like an angel and illumined one. I act like an angel and illumined one. I act like an angel and illumined one.
Focus on the second veil of illusion, which is dark blue in color. Ask the water and air dragon to remove it and sense him doing it. This veil dissolves when you attain universal consciousness and are fully enlightened. You can see the oneness of the cosmos, that everything, stars, rocks, trees, animal, is connected. Now please affirm, I recognize oneness and accept divine abundance. I recognize oneness and accept divine abundance. I recognize oneness and accept divine abundance. Focus on the first veil of illusion, which is transparent. It's the closest to your third eye. Sense the water and air dragon right in front of your brow. He's working to remove it with water and air. Now become aware that Archangel Butyalil himself steps forward he uses a hand gesture to help you remove this last veil you may get a sense of it becoming thinner dissolving and with this veil even partially removed you are able to see 
glimpses of your true self. And you may see this now, you may get a glimpse of your magnificence. And affirm after me, I recite in the seventh dimension and my roots are deeply anchored into hollow earth. I recite in the seventh dimension and my roots are deeply anchored into seven dimensional hollow earth. I reside in the seventh dimension and my roots are deeply anchored into seventh dimensional hollow earth. As a special treat, Archangel Petualil sweeps you up in his immense white shimmering wings and he takes you out into the cosmos. You are journeying past stars and planets through our galaxy. You can see other galaxies stretching out as far as you can see. What really catches your eye, or what really catches your eye, are the spectacular colors and shapes of the nebulas. You are view viewing shades of purple, pink, blue, green, and other colors. With stars and planets shining out from within them. Mm, it is truly an awesome sight. And it is Archangel Bhutiali who ensures that the stars move in perfect harmony with the divine cosmic plan. Archangel Bhutiali now takes you to the central point between Neptune, the Pleiades, Orion, and Sirius. This is where his etheric retreat is. And here, he invites you to sit in a special seat with a few of the stars, planets, 
and constellations as you look at them and admire them you tune in to their wisdom and keys and codes of oneness are being downloaded into you. Archangel Butyalil raises his hand and with your permission touches your third eye with two fingers. His powerful light enters through the third eye into your body and charges all your cells with his pure white light. To sense that happening. And carrying his pure white light in your cells activates your personal cosmic blueprint and allows you to flow deeply into your mission and share your unique gifts and talents with the world. In this space, you understand that you are a divine cosmic being. And now we're going to take a few minutes to absorb these energies and maybe Archangel Butyalil has a message to share with you or a gift or any insights.
is now time to slowly and gently return. As Archangel Betieliel sweeps you up in his wings again, and very slowly you come back, traveling past stars and planets, you approach the earth. You may wish to bring your aura in a little to facilitate your return to where you started. When you are back in your room, take a moment to thank Archangel Bichuelil and Archangel Raphael and the air and water dragon for what you have received. You may find that your third eye chakra has increased in size and is radiating wonderful energy. Remember, you can heal and transmit higher thoughts through your third eye. So now bring your consciousness fully back into your physical body. And slowly open your eyes and start moving a little. Wow. <laughs> okay, I would like to invite everyone to share any insights or experiences in the chat box. And Julie, would you like to share your experience? Well, one word, wow. What a <laughs> gift. What a gift we, uh, we give ourselves by doing this <laughs> together and with all of you. Thank you so much. Feels really such a blessing, such a blessing, such lightness, expansion. That's the feeling, expansion. Feeling connected to the universe and feeling that the universe has our back. This is, this is really, yeah. Wow. In French, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Well, well, I could feel much activity going on in my third eye and it definitely feels very much expanded. And I could especially feel it when we were working on, on the closest veil. Yes. It was closest to the third eye. And when we had a few minutes with Archangel Butyalil, I had quite a funny conversation with him. Oh, yes. Are, we, are you going to share? <laughs> Yes. yes yes he said to me to do more to do more events like this and, and i was thinking i was thinking to myself I, I was laughing i was like it was a joke and i said okay thank you for uplifting me with your jokes and he said i'm not joking <laughs> well i already have an idea i have a, i already have three workshop workshop in mind with you so maybe that's why Okay, well, <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> mm. Let's see in the chat box. Thank you for sharing. This is so good. Um, I'm going back to the beginning. Yes. Um, okay, Miriam is congratulating you. Um, Thank you. She's, Merci beaucoup. She's also a teacher at the school. Yes, yes, I noticed. Thank you. And beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for this incredible experience. Thank you so much. Each lay was so fascinating. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Any any more insights? Any anything more specific? Very powerful. Thank, thank you to both of you and everyone on this session. Archangel Butyale, Raphael, and Aaron the Dragon. I feel healed and cleansed. Thank you very much to both of you. My computer is giving up. <laughs> okay. Thank just you. now, just in time. 
Okay, did no Please one get any message? To... Any, any message from Archangel Butyala? Hi, oh. if, I, if I may share, can you hear me okay? Oh, yes. yes. Who, who's talking? Hi, my name's Paula. Paula. Thank you so much to both of you. That was very, very powerful. You guys are very gifted. And to everyone on the session, I send blessings. There was a moment where we were with Archangel B and we were sitting with him and he kind of, I'm working toward getting onto YouTube, kind of a spiritual, motivational, um, you know, YouTuber. And I've been procrastinating and a bit fearful. And there was one moment where it clicked and I was with him and I unlocked a box mm -hmm. and everything came flowing to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take action today and do something toward it. So mm -hmm. uh, I just want you to know how powerful and healing and um, helpful this session was. So I'll go off on mute. Thank you so much. Oh. Wow. wow. Thank you so much, Paula. And in fact, action is the key. So exactly. Yeah else has got insights received any insights any ideas you know take action that is the key. Oh. and you can actually join us for new world entrepreneur school training as you are paula mentioning that you'd like to show up in the world differently and inspire people so definitely that could be a blessing to have you on board if you have any links please put them in the chat and i'll look it up we thank you so much we will yes. we will wesley actually just did it right now we did it okay it's, i'm still looking at the messages so there's a message from tony i could feel lots going on Either so way, thank you paula way, like a square looking forward to seeing you soon <laughs> like a square colored cloth i was given symbols that's another tony tony jarvis i was given symbols and a white crystal heart to carry Mm. That sounds amazing. I like Crystal Heart. <sighs> Rona, wow, incredible experience. Thank you both for facilitating this for us. Well, my third eye is definitely totally different. I could feel how the keys and codes were downloaded. It was interesting. That's Khan, Amina. They are, okay, thank you so much. Also to the angels and dragons. I couldn't always get the exact words to repeat. I think it was a constant hissing sound. But it sounds like cicadas. Is that cicadas where you are, Julie? Uh, pardon me? I, I, I can also hear the noise. It sounds like cicadas. Yes, yes. There's tons of birds in my around my home. <laughs> so they're singing very loud. Um, they're happy. OK. Uh, yes. I, I quite enjoyed it because I love I love hearing. It sounds like cicadas to me. Yes, I believe. I believe yes. There's tons of different ones, and I I just have all my windows open, and I couldn't couldn't close. I just love their sounds. <laughs> and Archangel Bichelil is with us, and <laughs> and all of the animals as well. <laughs> well. This time I thought it was something wrong with my iPad. The hissing sound kind of um, sometimes obliterated the repetition, the, something in between, you know, it was occasionally difficult to, the last one from you, Francisca, was the, I couldn't get all the words properly. Oh. Uh, it was a bit the energy, a you're still receiving, Amina, the energy, even if we don't hear and if it's the sound isn't perfect. The energy and the work is done energetically. We don't even need to, to use words, actually. It's fun to use words. But you absolutely are benefiting. Yes. Inside me, I said, whatever Franziska is saying, that's what I accept. And I couldn't repeat the exact words. So. Yes. <laughs> said, that's, that's, I go with that. You know, I mean, kind of thing, yeah. Well, just your intention there to really align with all this it's it's done you're you're doing very well and everybody <laughs> is okay to repeat this uh another time absolutely 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 thank you amina for sharing thank you that. so much thank you mm -hmm. There's one more message I'd like to read. It's written in Italian. So yes. Cynthia is asking me to translate. So she was given a shimmering 
stone shimmering with all colors by Archangel mm. Buitialil. And he told her that she's ready for her life mission to Aww. connect with planets for anything that may serve her and to call him and connect with him. So I've translated that. Oh, thank you for translating. And she this could receive light codes from, from different kinds of light codes from planets. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Tensia. So I would like to tell you before we close, I would like to tell you about my next workshop coming up. Yes. And I've literally just published that today. So it's called, it's going to be called the Atlantean Temple of Poseidon and the Law of One. So this is a two hour workshop on a Saturday morning. And um, it's going to be very powerful and it will accelerate your ascension path. And the objective of this workshop is to clear any lower programming so that you can embrace the law of one into your life. So we'll be journeying into the temple of Poseidon. We're going to visit the great initiation chamber. So it's going to be mm -hmm. a very exciting workshop. And Wesley has dropped the link. Into and what date is it, Francisca? 23rd of July. Oh, perfect. Saturday morning, 10 to 12 a.m. London time. Mm, Lion's Gate opening around that time. So, whoo -hoo, good timing. Yes. And now I hand over to you. Would you like to tell people about what you've got coming up? Any upcoming events? Well, I would like to invite people to join you and I. <laughs> yes. Because you're going to be presenting for our seven-day masterclass for the New World Entrepreneur, that free online training for light workers. So newworldentrepreneurschool.com is where you can register and receive the training for free. And Francisca is presenting two separate meditation, part one, part two, August 3rd and 5th. And it's at 9 p.m. <laughs> Italy time. I don't want to. It's, this is 3 p.m. Eastern time. So for Toronto and Montreal time. No worries if you cannot make it live. Well, Francisca and I will be. You can get the replay. And this is absolutely opening doors to people that are looking to actualize their mission to really do what they came here to do. So the New World Entrepreneur School, Francisca, has also her book launch August 1st with the New World Entrepreneur School. She's giving you gems of information, treasures to help to guide you through your light worker journeys, thriving secrets, I call them. And it's, a, it's amazing content. So this is going to be also available. And we are definitely going to be doing some more dragon, dragon hmm, visualization activities, exercise. I'm going to be doing a Lion's Gate uh, dragon work on August 6 and 7. So yes, there's going to be different links, I guess, uh, that you can register on. But the main one is with Francisca or I and New World Entrepreneur School and more, more to come. So do this, this, the, the, event, the, the meditation I'm doing on the 3rd and on the 5th of August. So do people just register once for the whole yes. event, for the whole yes. training, which is the whole week, the whole first week in August? Yeah, the simplest way, the simplest way is to register for the whole training, which you will receive automatically all the free events links. So oh. to the best way Each to event has separate links. Though. Yes, oh. absolutely. So as you thank you for clarifying this. And as you can see on the Diana Cooper School of White Light website, there's invitations for each event however you can register for the one main event and receive all the the links and again if you're not available for that live session we will send you the replay okay so Cynthia is asking for the link uh, yes the link is already there i think it's further up 
it was the first link that was posted yes. for yes for, by Wesley for training for light workers how to thrive as a new world entrepreneur thank and you so much August, the august events thank you thank you francisca for making it happen today this is quite a gift thank you so much well thank you so much julie i really really enjoyed this and thank you to everyone for joining us yes and yeah may we'll ask, see you soon may i ask you a really quick question could you can ask a question thank you yes. so much could you please briefly describe what the law of one is the law of one well, it's uh, it's where you where your consciousness expands to such a level that you experience that you that you realize that we are all one and connected. So if anything happens to another person on the planet, it also affects you. So that's why when you when you have that awareness, when you follow the law of one, you know that you know you don't think. You don't think just about yourself you think about everyone and that includes the animals and stars nature rocks so we're all connected as one consciousness so whatever we do should always be for the highest good of everyone that's the mm. law of one beautiful <laughs> we thank are. you but yeah i'll be explaining I that in the go. workshop so in the much. workshop i'm doing on the 23rd Oh, yes. beautiful. Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. So, Shall we stop the recording here?